Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. Here we're talking about determinants of matrices. And in the last section, we introduced the concept of determinant. We talked about determinants of two by two matrices, which you know how to take with the crisscross method, just simple multiplication. Uh, now we're going to talk about using the rules that we have developed to do row reduction for matrices. And we've already gone over the rules, but just the bottom line is I want to call your attention. What you're trying to do is manipulate the matrix to make it look like a triangular matrix. So you want, uh, it doesn't have to be ones, but you want numbers on the diagonal, you want zeros down below. That's what you're trying to do. And as you do these row reduction steps, you may have to, to put a negative sign or a constant out in front of the determinant as you, as you go along the steps. And I'll give you some examples to show you that. At the end of the day, what you're trying to do is get it to this form because the product of the diagonal elements yields the determinant. And it's kind of just a fact of life. When you when you study linear algebra, you have to learn how to take determinants like three or four different ways. And this is one of those ways. So when we get done with this, and I'm going to show you a different way in the next lesson, and a different way in the lesson after that, it's a little bit redundant because you're calculating the same number, but you're just using different techniques, but you just have to learn it. It's just part of every class. So let's say we want to find the determinant of the following matrix. So we write it like this, DET. We have negative one, one, two, and then we have zero, six, three, and then we have four, seven, five. And we wanna calculate the determinant of this. So what we're trying to do is get to, so that we have numbers on the diagonal and numbers up above, but we want zeros below. We wanna use the regular row reduction techniques um, to do that. So as, as you know, when you do row reduction techniques, there's many, many different ways in which you can uh, actually pull it off. There's no real right answer. But I already see that I have a negative one here. That's good. I have a zero there. That's good. What I really want to start the process is I want to get zeros down below in this first column. So I want to make this a zero because this is already in my favor. That's already a zero. So the way I would do that is I could take and multiply the top row by, by positive four, that would give me a negative four here. And then when I add it down here, that's gonna give me a zero. So let me put an equal sign here and I'm gonna leave a little space here and I'm gonna put the matrix. So the first row would be negative one, one, two. And then the next row I'm not doing anything with at all, zero, six, three. Now the last row, what I'm going to end up doing, let me close the matrix off here. What I'm doing is I'm saying four times row one plus row three. That's what this notation means. Four times row one plus row three. So when I take four times this, I get negative four. When I add it here, it gives me my zero. When I take four times this, that's four plus seven, that's 11. And when I take four times this, four times two is eight. Uh, plus this guy should give me 13. That's what I end up getting, 13. So I'm doing my regular row reduction techniques step by step trying to get into a triangular matrix. But to, in order to get this matrix from this one, you can call this matrix A and matrix B in terms of our rules that we were just developing. This is the parent matrix, this is the child matrix or something, however you want to think about it. Um, the determinant of this original matrix is what we want to do, but it, what we want to calculate. But in order to, to get there, we had to do this step, which is multiplying a row by a number and adding it to a number to another row, which is step one here. Or uh, these are the, the, the various options. If a multiple of row A is added to another row to make matrix B, then the determinants of A and B. In other words, the determinants of these two matrices are the same. So I can just put DET out here. I don't need to put any negative sign or anything. In this particular case, when you take a matrix 